What is up everybody, it's Gorilla Man here, back with another Farming Simulator 2017 single player video. And in today's video, we are going to be harvesting some potatoes. Alright, so yeah, they're over there at the current moment. Uh, some of them are still growing, but uh, most of them are good. But uh, So from last episode, what I saw guys was, a lot of people want me to buy a new tractor. Like new tractors, so I got the voucher over there, I'm going to keep that one, but... When you start up a new game, you always get three of these uh, Case IH tractors. That I think like one of the lowest ones, the 1455. Let's go check those really quick. So yeah, you all, when you start the game, you get some of the low tractors. You get 1455s back. Uh, they're not too low, but uh, there they are. There's a 1455 right there. And I guess, yeah, that's what it is. It's the XL. 1455XL, which is right there. All right, so this thing has a base 145, so we want to make sure we buy a new tractor with a front loader on it um, and with much more horsepower. So we're going to bump this thing up. Uh, let's go. Ooh, Lamborghini. You can buy a Lamborghini tractor. That is weird. All right, let's just keep going. Uh, what do we got here? Let's see. Full trailers, tools. Can they take headers though? Okay, so this one can take a header. That one can. That one can. That one can't. All right. Keep scrolling. All right, so some of these can reverse drive control. Oh yeah, we don't need that. Um. All right, so let's tone it down here a bit. The KSIH. Puma looks nice. Maybe we want to go with a JCB or something else. Possibly. Um, 288. That's not much horsepower for that. Uh, let's keep, just keep scrolling. See, these are a little big. Like, we don't need something that crazy. Oh, there's something. Um... I'm so much more expensive per day for running costs. All right, let's go with. See, the case IH is really slow. I don't like that. You know what? Let's buy the Lamborghini tractor. All right, front loader attachment. Yes. Engine setup. Ooh, what can we bump it up to? Mach 250 VRT, wheel weights, wide tires. You know, let's just run standard. Um, and let's see, yeah, let's build this guy up, make it run probably a little bit better. All right, so we're going to lease this for the current moment. Yep. All right. All right, so we got that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see how much these are. These will sell for for us. Um, around 11000 Ooh, that is expensive. Got 47 hours on them. All right. All right. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drive these since we don't really we don't really care about them that much anymore. We're just gonna drive these right over all this if it will actually make it up the hill. I'm just gonna take it off quick little little ramp right here. All right. So we're gonna take this back to the shop. And we're going to sell this at the shop because you guys remember you get like a bonus uh, 10 or 20% when you sell uh, items back at the shop. So we're going to gain back about 2,000-ish, something like that. If it truly is the actual uh, 20%. And then also while we're down here with our new Lamborghini one, we will buy a potato harvester. Or the like the, the three-point attachment for that is what we'll buy because we need something to harvest our potatoes. But we don't want to buy the full-on uh, like harvester for potatoes. We just want to buy like the little attachment because we're not going to really be, doing, be using potatoes that often. So we don't need to go all out. We can we'll also probably lease it mainly because we can sell it back and we don't have to spend as much money. We won't lose as much value as long as since we're not using it that much. All right. So and then also, um, what was that? Uh, shout out to Graham. Who, he was the first person in the comments that I saw uh, mention this to me. I think some other people might have also. But I saw his first. Uh, he told me that you can just use potatoes as seeds again. Which, I mean, I get that. Yep. You can usually, that's what you actually do in real life. 
But yeah, you just take this potatoes that you harvested and you can reuse them, which is fantastic. And I love that idea. All right, so right here, we drive them up inside the box. Yep, so you get some extra money in that. And you can still customize these. Wow. All right, well, let's uh, sell. Okay, extra 13000 And then I also bought this PJ trailer right here, everybody, as you guys can see. Um, I need to bring down the Duramax also while we're here. But let's go over here to potato harvesting. So what we got are these. So this potatoes can be harvested. The foliage. So you got to cut it, and then you got to harvest it. That's what it was. All right. So we're going to buy this. We're going to lease it because it's not that bad. This one, we're going to buy it. We're going to lease it. All right. So we got all this. All right. So this one can just be done. I think it's a, yep, three point. It's a three point also. This one can be done with just any thing that can take a hitch. Let's hop in our new Lamborghini. Ooh, dude, it's white, but I mean, that's okay. The white color is not too terrible. Let's, uh, let's attach this on here. Let's back that onto there once we go get the, uh, there you go. So we'll be backing this on here. Dude, this is a lot bigger tractor than my last one. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult to maneuver. Uh, there we go. Something like that. All right. Let's also here. You know, we're not gonna uh, go through the trouble of driving all the way back. We already did that for one, so it's okay. Let's sell that. All right. Now let's drive our Silverado 3500. All right. Oh baby, putting this suspension to the test. Oh boy. All right. All right, so we're gonna take this down there. We're, we have a gooseneck, so we should be able to uh, hook up to that 40-foot PJ trailer pretty good. I've, I've been meaning to buy this trailer for a while. I have the car trailer, but the car trailer is really not that good. It's not really made for the stuff that we do, and it doesn't lock down. So I need to either find like an updated version of it, or just another smaller trailer, which I have like the cryptic ones, but um, oh no, the nice guy trailer. That's what we have the nice guy trailer, but. Uh, I don't really want to use that one right now, so we're just going to stick with this 40-foot PJ and just be hauling stuff. Just go all out. Alrighty. Turn on, hit F1. Right. Yeah. And attach. Alright, well, you will unfold. And I'm pretty sure this this trailer locks down. I'm pretty sure it does. If it doesn't, I'll just hit the straps on it. Should be good. Ooh, I don't even know if this thing will fit on here now that I'm looking at it. You know what? Maybe we should go with the big guy first. Yeah, let's go with this big guy first. Ooh, this is really gonna put my uh, my reverse skills to the test. Okay, so we're just gonna have to kind of just maneuver it on here just ever so slightly. Oh, my tiger's getting stuck on that wall. All right, let's just zoom out really far. Right. So we're looking decent right now. You know what? I need to drop this. I need to readjust the tractor here. All right. We're at a really, really high view. This tire's off the edge. Come on. Oh no! Will it not? Will it not back up that? 
Oh no, since that tire's not hitting that edge. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh no. We've made it so much worse now. Come on. Alright, this is not working. Alright, here, give me a second. Let me just... I'm probably just gonna fast forward through this, so... Come on, baby. Let's go. Yeah, guys, I don't think it's going to fit on this trailer, sadly. Alright, that's kind of a bummer, actually. You know what? Let's just, uh... Let's just disconnect this. We'll drive over here. We'll grab the, uh... The, the leaf cutter, the top cutter. Oh, what, what way do we got? Okay, we got to go on this way. Oh, man, this has been one huge pain in the butt. Alright, come on, let's go. Probably should have backed this on here now that I'm looking at it. And we're just gonna tip the tractor. Okay, that was bad. Oh, man. We are. We are doing really bad today. Alright, we re reset that. Take this guy. Fold up the ramps. We'll test and see if it locks it down, too. Pretty sure it should lock down. Um, it might be locked down. It's not moving anywhere, though. That's good. Let's hop in our Lambo. That's so funny. Let's just hop in our Lambo. All right, so we'll grab this, and I will just basically... I'll just drive all this stuff down there, and I'll see you guys all at the farm. All right, guys. Here I am, finally back with all the equipment. It took me forever, though. I kept messing everything up. All right, so let's go... We'll get... Okay, sweet. The worker actually do this. So, all we gotta do is cut the top leaves. Oh, it looks like it just, like, shreds them and leaves them on here. And then... Um, let's grab the Valtra. I'll probably switch out and have the Valtra do the cutting, and then the Lambo do the actual tilling of them. Not tilling, but harvesting. Mainly because that'll probably cost a lot. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I think the Lambo, though, has a lot more horsepower, so it'll pull that guy a lot easier. Double check, make sure we're not going to get T-boned here. I'll wait for the Lambo to come back around, and then, then I'll attach it up here. That should be good. And then I wonder if you can just, like, back this up to that and hit, like, refill. Because you might be able to. Um, Let's just see what happens. Let's see if I can pull this thing. See how well I can pull it. not to hit the Duramax. Alright. Oh, okay. So, we're set up. Let's lower it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's blocked by us. Alright, don't worry. I'll move. I'll move. Does it just, like, it doesn't just toss out the potatoes, does it? I hope it doesn't. Alright, let's just line him up. Is it, oh, is this a really, really small area? 
Alright, let's just... So much equipment in such a small space. Alright, there we go. Alrighty. Called about here. Okay, looks like our worker is doing it. Does it look like he's getting them all? Yep, they're all being just tossed into the top here. Okay, so you can probably pipe out into that new guy. Right, let me get out. I'm gonna look at this. See how this thing's working. So it just like shuffles all the dirt and everything out the back. But then grinds him up and pulls him in there from that point. That is weird. And it only does... Does it only do that much at a time? It only does a very, very small amount. Alright. No, that's okay. That'll, that should work for us, though. Oh, and yeah, doing that turn's gonna be awful. Alright, good thing we got workers, though, for this. Alright. Oh, look at that new Lambo tractor. Oh, it just looks beautiful. Oh. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to get in your way. Oh, man. Lamborghini. All right, let's let's keep going. All right, we're gonna go hop in the Duramax really quick. We're gonna go move something out of the way of Harvester over here, and because I just got so much equipment now, I just need to get everything really organized one of these days. Like, got the tree stuff laying out here. Just got all these things just chilling. Yeah, I know this uh, trailer is blocking my Harvester from getting my corn. You know what? Since we're right here. Let's just... Hey, 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 come back here, come back here. Oh, dude. Stop. 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 Come on. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? All I want to do is just grab this corn from him. Nope. Nope, you're blocked. There we go. All you gotta do is block him. So if they stop, you don't have to like drive up along next to them because that's kind of annoying in my opinion. Ooh, all right. So we're gonna get all these potatoes, and I think only five percent of these potatoes only have to go to the pigs, which is the whole reason we're doing potatoes in the first place. You guys didn't realize we're doing this all for the pigs. Yeah, five percent. That'll be what like bumps them up. I still need to go uh, get the sheep back to full productivity. I need to go clean the pigs up for a bit. But uh, basically, as you guys can see here. Um, 5% is just potatoes or sugar beets, so it's really not that much of their portion that would matter to it, but I just want to have it so I can get it up to that 100% like uh, productivity, which productivity for them is like mating-wise, because all they do is reproduce. So you can get it up to that point, and I think you can make a lot of money. I think pigs will probably make you more money than the cows in the, in the short run, probably. No, long run, long run. Yeah, in the long run, cows are definitely, uh, they take a lot longer. But uh, pigs, you make a lot more money off of getting like a big supply of them and then getting a bunch of them all at once. Because they can reproduce with like 10 a day or something like that. Not $35,000, which is more than my cows are doing right now, which is great. But Alright, so it looks like this stuff is going to town. Uh oh, this guy's blocked here. Alright guys, I'm gonna move this stuff around, get some stuff going, get this field harvested. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, next episode will probably be... Uh, oh, look at all those potatoes in there. We'll probably be feeding the pigs quite a bit, getting them these new potatoes we just got. Uh, maybe doing another harvest of potatoes if we don't have that much, depending upon how much the, cow the pigs are gonna end up using, which is only 5%. So it shouldn't be too much, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, and supporting my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I love seeing you guys comment down below. If you guys got anything to say, comment down below. Any ideas, helpful hints, stuff like that. And like this video up, guys, if you like seeing uh, these, all the new stuff we're doing. Getting potatoes, getting that Lamborghini tractor. Kind of bummed we couldn't like paint a different color, but we got it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.